This is Crisis Group first ever report on Mexico and we have been working during the past few months researching on the field in nine states uh, besides the capital, interviewing a wide array of uh, personalities, institutions and persons who can provide us with information. We have talked with uh, very high level government officials, we have talked with NGOs, the human rights movement, civic movements that works uh, to protect victims, journalists, think tanks, but also we have talked with grassroots organizations in the most affected places by violence in Mexico, including members or former members of the criminal cartels. And all this has given us a very accurate view of what's happening in Mexico in terms of violence, which are the challenges that Peña Nieto has to tackle in the future, and which are the opportunities that Me Mexico has for it. This is a key moment in Mexico's history. Mexico is going through a very important political transition that opens a window of opportunity for new strategies and new ways to tackle the violence that has killed between 47,000 and 70,000 people and has disappeared at least more than 10,000 with dozens of thousands of people that has been affected in many regions in Mexico. So now, under this new administration, there is an opportunity to target the strategy into the most sensitive sectors that can make a difference in Mexico. In order to overcome the threat posed by criminal cartels, Mexico has to face four main challenges. The first one is, is an ineffective police and the lack of coordination between the state, the federal and the municipal level. The second is a very high rate of impunity, which reflects the deficiencies of the justice system. The third is corruption, the linkages between criminal cartels, illegal organizations, and at the other side, politicians and local authorities are still very troubling. And the fourth is social exclusion and poverty, which represents a major problem of legitimacy and credibility of the state in providing basic services to the areas which are precisely those where the criminal cartels are more strong. We can also find that uh, in Mexico, there are many opportunities that can be seized under this transition. We can identify at least three of them. The first is a vibrant civil society and a very potent human rights movement that can provide the input in terms of search for accountability and to protect the victims and the families of the victims. The second one is that there is an agreement now between the major political parties in terms of what to do and how to do it. And the third is that Mexico is a natural leader for a global discussion about drug policies because the problem of Mexico cannot be uh, tackled only in Mexico. This has global and regional implications that needs the involvement of the international community.